Hey everyone, Ross McCorkle here with another episode of The Depot 180. This was already a sure thing to happen, but Cameron Hayward was placed on the injured reserve list. He will be eligible to return in as soon as four weeks, but don't expect him back until early November or so at the projected timetable of about eight weeks. Dr. Melanie Friedlander put up a fantastic article on the site stating how she thinks he will be able to resume at full strength after that point, which is good news. Des Fitzpatrick was elevated from the practice squad of the 53 as the corresponding roster move, so another receiver enters the picture, which will be necessary for the next few weeks while Deontay Johnson's hamstring recovers. His injury figures to be about three to four weeks, but Deontay said he was having trouble even walking for three or four days after the injury. Doesn't sound great to me. Another skill position player in the league who suffered a hamstring injury, Devin Witherspoon on the Seahawks, seemed to be returning after about five weeks. These soft tissue injuries are tough because you can rush back and then re-injure and have it turn into a season-long lingering issue. I would guess he will return after the bye to give him that extra couple weeks to be safe, but he hasn't been placed on IR yet, so who knows. Following the poor performance in all three phases in Week 1, Matt Canada and Terrell Austin spoke to Pittsburgh media on Thursday, as the coordinators always do. It was rather alarming to me, at least, that they both essentially were surprised by the poor performance on Sunday and didn't know why the poor performance happened. Not the most confidence-instilling thing. Canada, in specific, basically guaranteed that that would not be repeated. Time will tell. The Steelers play the Browns on Monday Night Football, so the Friday edition of the Terrible Podcast features Scott Petrick of thebrownzone.com to discuss the matchup. One of the key things that was talked about is the right tackle situation for the Browns since Jack Conklin went down injured for the season. Who's going to go against TJ Watt? Rookie Dewan Jones from Ohio State will be starting. He is a giant of a man with record-breaking length. TJ Watt should get the better of him several times, but Dewan Jones's length can't be ignored as a threat. That should be an interesting matchup in the rookie's first career start. Since the game's on Monday, the injury report won't be finalized until Saturday, so stay tuned to the site for updates there. For now, as of Thursday, the Steelers only have Anthony McFarland Jr., who is unable to practice. If he isn't able to go, Calvin Austin III might be doing punts and kick returns. The Browns have a longer list, with four players failing to practice due to in- injuries, all on the defensive side of the ball. Let me know how you enjoyed the video on Twitter, at Ross underscore McCorkle, and as always, visit SteelersDepot.com for your latest and greatest Steelers breaking news and analysis. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.